Hi everybody and welcome to Iconosquare's Facebook Analytics. We're going to start on the overview page where you can see your most important metrics like your total fans um, and the reach impressions and page engagement that you've got during the period you've selected up here with the date picker. So right now I have it set to last 30 days. And uh, page engagement refers not only to the engagement that you get on your posts, like reactions, comments, and shares, but also other clicks that people take on your Facebook page as well, like um, perhaps clicking on one of your tabs at the side, like your Instagram tab or your photos tab, or clicking on one of your CTAs. We're going to scroll down to your most recent media and you can see at a glance um, their reach, likes and comments. That's what these little icons down here mean. Two of the most important um, community charts are also on the overview page. So you can see how your community is growing with the fan growth chart um, and then gained and lost fans gives you an even more in-depth analysis of how many fans you gain, the green bars, and how many fans you lose each day and how many posts you posted on that day as well. And then just the core metrics on your fan growth here. You can also see uh, your page engagement, how that's evolved, and the amount of people you've reached, how that's evolved as well. And you can turn either of these into tables to get a more sort of accurate um, view at any time. And then down here, we just have the core metrics of your reach rate. So how many of your fans you actually reach with your content? Um, your fan engagement rate, so that would be how many of your fans have engaged with your content and the overall engagement rate because some of the people engaging with your content might not actually be your fans yet. Um, so skipping ahead to the engagement section, here we have your post engagement and that is just the reactions, comments and shares that you get on your Facebook posts which have been posted during this period you've selected up here. Um, and then clicks as well, which are the number of unique clicks on your Facebook posts. Um, so that could be reactions or it could be link clicks as well. Um, post engagement history, post clicks history. You can see um, down here uh, what's the most, what type of engagement you get the most. Um, split into reactions, comments, and shares. And then even further into the reactions, see whether people are liking, loving, putting wow faces, angry faces. Um, you can see that on this chart here. And then down here, you can see which type of content, status, photo, video, or link is getting the most engagement and the most clicks. This chart shows you um, your best time to post based on different metrics. So Wednesday at 11 is our best time to post for engagement rate, and then you can further see the best time to post for likes. You can see the darker squares um, are get usually get us more 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 likes. Down here, you can see your, your post engagement rate just for fans, uh, your overall post engagement rate for those who aren't fans, and the click rate as well. So the amount of people who um, are, are reached to actually click on your links. And then you can see your most engaging media ranked and you can do an export of those here as well with a little arrow. We've already seen the um, fan growth and the gained and lost fans. So we're just gonna scroll down to um, the demographics um, that you can see. So you can see the age and gender of those who make up your Facebook fans, the languages that they speak, and the countries and cities that they're located in. And just like all the charts, you can quickly um, click on this button to turn it into a table so you can see the specific numbers and percentages rather than just the high level view of the little blue dots. The next section is the reach section. And here you're just gonna find out more about your reach and impressions and the average reach per post and the average reach rate by post. So reach rate is how many of your, the percentage of your fans that you've actually reached with your posts. Uh, you can see your reach and impressions history, um, and we've split it, to make things easy for you, we've split it out into paid reach, viral reach, and organic reach. And you can also see your reach distribution by source on this chart here. So organic reach um, is just from people who are your fans, 
um, your content appearing in their newsfeed automatically. Um, Paid reach is obviously when you've paid for an ad or a sponsored post. And viral reach is when other people see your content because one of their friends who is a fan of your page has commented on it or liked it or shared it. And then it appears in their newsfeed. And then you can kind of see how many people that's happening to with this chart, which is the reach distribution by fans and non-fans. Um, and then you can see which post type is getting you the most reach. Um, our videos seem to reach people the most, which is quite common. Down here, you can see when your fans are online, which can also inform your best time to post and also your media with the highest reach. And again, you can export them from over here. Last of all, we're just going to take a look at your page performance. Here you can see how many people have viewed your page, whether they were logged into Facebook or not logged into Facebook. They could have just found your page uh, via a Google search. Um, likes and unlike history day by day which is sort of similar to the gained and lost fans. Tab views, this is really interesting. Um, so the tabs are the different sections that are listed on the left-hand side of your Facebook page. And here you can see um, which people are most interested in and um, that they've clicked to, on to see more of your photos, to see the about section where you'd probably have a short bio, um, your videos, your posts. Um, so that's really interesting to see what people are most interested in on your page. And then down here, you can see how many people have been clicking on the CTAs in your bio, call now, get directions, and clicking on your website link as well. That's everything for today, guys. That's all of your um, Facebook analytics on Iconosquare. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below and we'll get back to you.